scenarios, taxis have got falcons and that sort of thing, but maybe Doran preferred to have the 40-seater bus. Well, there's nothing wrong with the bus. No, uh, the bus, that's right. It was a bus. It was probably a Toyota bus. We're going to call it on this. OK, yeah. we'll go to uh, live with the... <laughs> OK, the street stock are on the uh, job. I thought the mic was turned off. We'll watch the action out in front. We've uh, got Dean Crow in car number 58 goes to the race lead early. Dean Crow going the wrong way is doing a great job of it all. Oh, and uh, Alan Mortimer coming up behind Craig Delfanti. Exit just about drove straight into him but backed off right at the right moment. So uh, Mortimer goes to... Mortimer goes up into uh, second place now underneath Delfanti, who's back to third. We go then back to Wes Reed. On the outside of Wes, Wes Reed is Brad Phillips from down Albany Way, then Peter Barr, and at the rear of the field, Jeffrey Genev in car number 11. So the race is on for the streets. The track a little bit dry at the moment. We've got a track raid coming up very shortly. Street stock going the wrong way here at Collie Speedway. And that's one of the things about street stock racing. They toss a coin at the gate and travel in whichever direction the coin may fall. Heads, you can go this way. Tails, which way do you want to go is what the uh, the question is. So down... The, oh! Hey! I've got the music for that one too, fellas. Are we going to get it? No, we won't get a restart. The race goes on. The boys aren't going to hold up proceedings. That's fantastic stuff. We'll watch the action out in front. Dean Crow's the race leader. We're going to hand you live now to Jason Crow, who's going to bring his little brother home. Well, that may not happen yet. Don't bet on it. Four laps down, four to go for the pinball wizard. Out in second spot is car number 16 of uh, Alan Mortimer, who's starting to slowly close the gap. Back in third spot, Peter Barth, then Jeffrey Genev, Wesley Reed. Then we've got Brad Phillips and 28, Craig Delfanti. Maybe may a major boil over about to happen. The pinball wizard, three laps to go, still in front, Dean Crow. In car number 58, Mortimer second. Titanic scrap for the minor placings between 18, Peter Barr, and 11, driven now by Greg Avens. Down the back section once again, it's still Dean Crow in front. Unbelievable but true. Then we've got to 16 of Ella Mortimer. As they as they come out of turn number four with two laps to go, Dean Crow still in front, Mortimer in second spot, Jeffrey Genev in third, and then back to Peter Barr in fourth. Well, Dean Crow is in front, but Mortimer has closed the gap, but with only one and a bit laps to go, maybe the pinball wizard's going to bring home the pizza. Out of turn number four, one lap to go, going the wrong way, throws the car in sideways, Mortimer on his hammer and tack, a long way back to Jeffrey Genev. And then Peter Barr, then further back to Wes Reed, and at the tail of the field would be Brad Phillips down the back section the last time. I've come 700 kilometres, and can you believe it? He's still in front. Down the back straight the last time. The pinball wizard's going to bring them home in the feature race. Dean Crow first home in car number 58. Oh, Alan Mortimer has nearly gone into the fence. Went uh, left in a right-hand turn. Back in third spot will be Peter Barr in car number 18. Back in fourth spot is Jeffrey Genev in car number 11 further back then to Wes Reed in 74 and last of all is Brad Phillips in car number 78 well as I just said I've traveled 700 kilometers to see it and it's happened I can't believe it that's happened there's the winner put your hands together for the pinball wizard Dean Crow in 58 his legion of fans all three of them go up as one two minutes 54 168 was the time we just better check for a record 250 254.168, so he's outside the eight-lap record. Dean Crow first, second home uh, was uh, Alan Mortimer, third was Geoffrey Genev. 254.168, all clear on event number, what one was that? 50.